Okay, everybody, um, I'm back. Let me know if you guys can hear me, and then I'll, I'll start. As soon as I know you guys can hear me, you should be able to hear me, though, because... Let me see. Okay, let me know if you can hear me. Um... Once I know you guys can hear me, I can um, go ahead and start as soon as I know you guys can hear me. As soon as I know y'all can hear me, I'm going to start because, um, yeah, I'm just going to, I'm going to start as soon as I know y'all can hear me. Let me know. Let me know if y'all can hear me. I'm sure y'all can though, but still let me know. Um, let me see. Let me see. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead. Hopefully, um, hopefully you guys can hear me though. But um, back to what I was saying. Um, there is a posture um that we should have as adults. Um, when it comes down to our children, there is a posture that we should have. Um, showing them what pretty much what it's like um, to worship God and they should know who God is for themselves it should not be um, where every time you turn around um, they have to depend on um, what we believe and who we say God is for ourselves the point of the matter on why I was coming live um, to tell you this is because um, God placed it in my heart when he gave me that dream and I started to talk about um, how we were going up and some was going up and some was falling down and the thing is as God was showing me how people are falling by the wayside and a lot of times we find ourselves trying to find somebody to blame like well my pastor didn't tell me that or my who who and who didn't tell me that and God is saying like I'm I don't want my people to depend on others to tell them who I am you should know who God is for yourself but in addition to that this is also a time and a season in all of our lives where we should be focusing on God. I'm not saying, now, now listen to me, I'm not saying um, don't work. <laughs> I'm not saying don't go out. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that because that's, that, that's, I'm not saying stay in your house and become a hermit. That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is, is we need to find a line where God, you are my priority because you make me a priority. Isn't, isn't it crazy how all of us are all children of God? But if I need something from God and you need something from God, God makes sure that he meets our needs. He meets my needs and he meets your needs. So technically, it's not, I could say that I'm a priority, but you can say that you're a priority too. Why could both of us, how is it that both of us can say we are both priorities? Because God loves us both equally. It doesn't matter what you've done. It does not matter who you are. It does not matter what I've done. It doesn't matter who I am. What matters is, is that I believe him for who he says that he is. And because, hey, because I believe God for who he says that he he is in my life. I believe that I am a priority. I believe that you are a priority. So why don't we make God a priority? Um, the other day I went, um, I did a little snippet of a video. I'm telling you guys, God has really been dealing with me with different things. And um, the other day, I actually did a little snippet of a video on my YouTube. And I said, how come we call God a provider, but we don't trust him to provide? How come we call him a healer, but then we limit him to heal certain diseases? How come we say that he's loving and he's caring, but then we do something and we think he don't care? How come we say that he's alpha and he's omega, but we don't believe him to be bigger than our issues? So we say all of these things, 
but really do we believe it? And God was saying to me, he said, I need you to start believing me more. If you say that I'm a God that's above all things, you say that I'm a priority. Are you making me a priority? You say that you love me. Have you been showing me that you love me? How would you feel if you're married or if you're not married? How would you feel if someone told you that they love you, but they never treated you like they love you? That would hurt, right? We need to stop thinking that God doesn't have feelings. God loves us so much that all he asks is that we get our lives together. I just came live to tell you to get your life together. Get your home in order. Hey there, you guys that's coming in. Get your life in order. Get your house in order. When you start to get things and you start to put things in order, I wish I can, I wish I had something to show you guys a order. When you start putting things in order, when you start lining things up, when you start focusing on what's in front of you, what's ahead, you don't oh shamanda kosata. You don't worry about what's on the side. You don't worry about what's on this side. You just focusing on what God has called you to do. When you start putting things in line, when you start putting things in order, you're gonna see that there's gonna be weight that drops off of you can i can i can i have an honest moment with you guys you guys i have noticed my level of peace have been much different since i dropped things off of me my level of peace have been different since i've been making certain things priority and i've been what i've been doing is is i've been doing this oh my gosh you guys i can't even find anything i have these these right here i'm just gonna let me move these this is what i've been doing i've been placing things in order just like that and i, I don't i want y'all to still be able to see me but i've been placing things in order and where i once said this right here this holder was a priority for what though for what all it's gonna do is hold more stuff for me to carry that ain't a priority. Then I say, well, this holder really not a priority either because technically it's gonna hold more stuff for me to carry. And then you see, you see, do you see this right here? But but this water is priority because I need water to survive. I need God to survive. But the thing is, is these things that we've been making priorities, we've been making them priorities because this stand right here. It's beneficial because it holds things. And we've been taking, you see this, you guys, look at this. This is prophecy. We've been taking a number of things. It's all glittery. It looked good, but it's all tangled up. Some of this is truth. As my husband said in one of his one of his um, messages that he did, this is un, the unraveling. Oh, Shaban did it, did it, oh, cool, sata. My God, my God, my God. God is doing the unraveling of the truth and your truth lies in the inside of this, but it's all dressed up and it look cute. This ball look cute. We're missing the whole point on what God is saying. Don't look for another stand and make that stand a priority to display the thing that ain't even the truth. To display a thing that is a whole, but it's just tangled up with a whole bunch of stuff. It's cute, but it's tangled up with a whole bunch of stuff. And a lot of us have been in situations and circumstances where we are tangled up in a lot of stuff. But we're tangled up in a lot of stuff that's not God. Y'all, my level of peace is totally different. But I also talked when I was talking, um, I don't, I was talking to my mom and I was telling her, I said, the thing is that, that we have to understand is just like in the Bible, how it talks about, um, how it talks about when, 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 when a place is sweeped and, and it's clear of all demons or demonic spirits and it leaves and we sweep it clean. And the thing is, is now that spirit is looking for a place to dwell. If it cannot find a place to dwell, it comes back and see if it can go back there. And what happens is, is when it comes back, it brings back more spirits. Lady K, what are you saying? We've been holding things that look good 
that's all tied up. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to get rid of certain things. But what happens is, is if I get rid of this, if I just pull one string, I don't know if this is all one string, but if I pull one thing, it's still tangled. And what happens is, is if I don't replace that one thing with something, then everything that had my mind, everything that had my spirit, everything that had me bound, because we don't realize that there are so many things that have us bound. We don't realize that. We think we good. Can I tell you, if you, if, <laughs> can I tell you, if any situation causes you to catch a migraine, when you think about it, it's bondage. Any situation that causes you to want to throw up your hands, is bondage any situation that causes you to be confused and not sure what God is saying or what he's saying is bondage anything that causes you to second guess who you are it is bondage anything that tells you that you have to get entwined and in things that um that Sometimes it takes you away from being with God is bondage. And we don't think any of, we don't think any of this stuff is bondage. Because everybody's told us stay busy and you'll be okay. But can I tell you that God said staying busy with the wrong thing is not going to make you okay. Staying busy with the right thing is going to make you feel good. You're going to have peace that surpasses all understanding. You're going to have joy that can't nobody take away. People can say what they want to say. And baby, you're going, you're going to be as calm as a mouse. Like they're going to say certain things. They can say they can do certain things. Let me tell you, um, some, some weeks ago, I was talking to my husband and I told my husband, I said, you know, something that God showed me. It was so crazy. But something that God showed me is the favor that's on my life. And I've never, God has never shown me that. But God showed me the favor that was on my life, right? And then he started to talk to me about that son that was favored in the Bible and how his brothers, his brothers um, pretended like he was dead. They threw him in, in, in a pit and they pretended like he was dead all because they were jealous of the favor that the father had with him. And... God started to show me, this is the favor. You walk around and my skin, God said, my skin is a coat. And the skin that I walk around in is favored by him. And then I started to say, God, it's many of us that's favored by you. And that many of us walk in this skin with this good coat. And there's a lot of people who don't like us because of this coat that our father Oh, shy Monday, this coat that our father gave us. So that body that you in, that's the coat that the father gave you. You are favored by him with that coat that you walking around in. And let me tell you, the thing is, is people, they, they, they feel some type of way about you. And, and sometimes they want to, they want to throw you in the pit. But God said, let me tell you something. God said to me, he said, what I like about you. I told my husband this. God said, what I like about you is that's not your focus. I'm not focused on who don't like my coat. I'm not focused on who um, who feels like their coat is better than I don't care. I don't care because the truth of the matter is, is all of us have bomb coats. Everybody, Tina, your coat is the bomb. Let me see. Miss Alexis, your coat is the bomb. Uh, Precious, your coat is the bomb. Miss Jackie, your coat is the bomb. I don't know who else is on here, but can I tell you your coat is the bomb? Your coat is a coat of many colors. Your coat is a coat of many colors. Your coat is a coat of many colors. That means you have many talents. You're good at what you do. Don't worry about focusing on the holder or worrying about the distractions. Worry about what's important. Now, as you can see, you see that right there? I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell y'all something. You see this water right here? I'm going to finish it.
It don't matter. Oh, it don't matter how long it takes me to finish what's important. But I'm going to finish it because this is what I'm called to do. I'm called to finish the thing that I need, the thing that's most important. I can't live without this water. So because I can't, oh man, because I can't live without this, I'm going to finish it. I'm going to finish everything that God has ordained me to do. I'm going to finish every single thing that he has called me to do, no matter who's looking, no matter who's not looking. Can I tell you, get delivered from people? Get delivered from people before you get the rest of your deliverance. And watch, once you get delivered from people, then you get the rest of your deliverance. Oh, baby, that together, that together is something great to appreciate because a lot of people can't appreciate getting delivered from different things can i tell you deliverance is not always falling now and yelling and foaming from the mouth and you know throwing up that's not always deliverance deliverance is oh that used to bother me but it don't bother me no more oh that used to affect me, but it don't affect me no more. When you get to that, that don't bother me no more. That's how you can tell you've been delivered from that thing. And when that thing no longer has, can I tell y'all? Can I tell y'all something? When I first got onto Facebook, I remember when I first, first got onto Facebook. And when I first started doing the makeup thing. And Tina could tell you, I used to do my makeup all the time. But can I tell you, I was doing it because... I realized that there was a gift that I had to do it right so then I started to do it but then I started to realize as things started to uh, transition into more things I didn't get into the more that it transitioned into and I used to be like well why ain't I'm not why I'm not into this like everybody else is into this but then God was showing me because you are different you don't you don't have to I don't have to listen y'all I can I can do the makeup if I want to. I can do a plain look if I want to. I can do a jazzy look if I want to. But the thing is, is you can have a talent, but is that the talent that God desires for you to use? And when we get so caught up, and I and I please, 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 please hear me. I am not saying that anything is wrong with the makeup i'm not saying that because i love makeup i still do my makeup just not as all often as i used to but what i'm saying is is when we get to the point where we don't have to transition when you don't have to transition with everybody else when you all are doing the same thing, everything look good, we all cool, so on and so forth. But when I transition, I don't got to transition into the same thing that you transition into. So where I might be doing something different, Tina, you might be doing something different. Miss Alexis, you might be doing something different. We all may be doing something different. But remember, that goes back to this coat. This coat that we wear, right? So the point of the matter, Lady K, what was the point of these whole, what, like Lady K, what you come here for? I came here to tell, to tell you, get your house in order. Getting your house in order could be your mental. Getting your house in order could be understanding who you are. Getting your house in order could be realizing that you are favored and you are loved by God. And so now Getting your house in order is realizing that God is a priority, not this, 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 and this, and this. Getting your house in order is understanding that these, this right here can be set to the side because it ain't even important. This right here is what I really need. Sit down, take some time, and begin to write down everything that you do. Write it all down. Write it. This is a challenge for you. And, and max, message me so I know you did it. Write down every single thing that you do, right? And then go through and then put two lists. Priority, remove. What are some things that you know for a fact is a priority? What are some things that you know for a fact is something that needs to be removed or can be removed? 
Now, what do you mean, Lady K, about what needs to be removed and what's priority? How do I know the difference? Well, with a priority, that's something that you know will give God glory. That is something that you know you can't live without that God has created for you that you need. On this side that you need to get rid of is things that causes you headaches, that give you migraines, that make you want to throw your hands up. If you just think about it, if it make you make this, this face, get rid of it. If it make you make this, get rid of it. Like throw it out. And what, what you do is then think about, then write a list of priorities a list of get rid ofs and then create another list and that last list make that last list replacements okay priorities get rid ofs and replacements so what happens is is when you get rid of something you got to replace it with something because if you don't remember that spirit is looking for a place to dwell replacement take something that you desire to do. Something that I just started doing is dealing with plants. Tina been seeing me, girl. I'm excited. But something that I've been doing is I replace some things with plants. So now that not only gives me a chance to sit and water my plants, but my daddy asked me today when I talked to my dad, he said, baby, you been talking to your plants? And I said, nah, daddy, I don't talk to them, but I sure do be praying with them. Oh, come on, did it, did it, oh, see. So what I'm saying is, is now while I'm planting and I'm watering my plants, I just pray. Oh, call manda bashata. Yeah, man, do do tiana man seke. And can I tell you a secret? I used to not be able to deal with no plants, but I've been praying. None of my plants died yet. And I just got some new plants, but my plants before that, they're still surviving. So that lets you know that God is showing me I have the ability to grow things. So what happens is, is I'm favored to grow things. So now that's a new color on my coat. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Tina. I received that. This is my planting season. So now I have the ability to take and do a certain thing because what I did was is I made my list, my priorities, get rid of replacements. I've been taking replacements. If you notice, Lady K, I, I promise you, don't think that I don't like nobody. I don't have no problems with nobody. But I get on here. I post my food because I cook all the time. I post my food and I get off. So I don't have no issues with nobody. So if you think I ain't liking your stuff, that's probably why. Because I don't get on here that much. Because I don't took this and made it not a priority. But I made it a replacement of something else. So the point of the matter is get your house in order. God is soon to come back. When I talked about the dream of going up, I don't want you to be the one inside that car that fell by the wayside. I want you to get raptured up with us. I want you to go up there with God and I want you to be able to hear him say, well done, my good and faithful servant. That that right there just got my heart. When God said to you, well done, my good and faithful servant. You know you're doing good. I want you to hear that. So with that being said, I'm done. I'm about to go and finish spending my husband's birthday with him. But I had to come on here and I had to be obedient and tell y'all what God said. I had to. So with that being said, I love you guys. And y'all make sure you put things in order. Y'all, I'm, I'm challenging y'all. I want to see y'all this. Inbox me. And tell me about your list. Remember, priorities is number one. Get rid of is number two. And replacements is number three. If you got to write it on little index cards and sit on your floor and do it, go ahead. If y'all want if y'all want us to do it together, we can we can have us we can have us a Zoom party. We can have us a house and order Zoom party. <laughs> but I'm for real. But let me know, okay? I love y'all. And I'll catch y'all next time 
when I'm hitting a sporadic. Bye.